Did you know that Jesus has already dethroned that crown? And so he, Jesus is Lord. He's the king. You say the coronavirus ain't reigning around here. Jesus is Lord around here. I'm going to magnify the Lord. I'm going to lift up my voice and praise the Lord. Jesus is the healer. He's Lord. Coronavirus ain't ruling around here. Jesus is Lord. It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. I was thinking about a story that is one in one of Dr. Lillian B. Yeoman's books. And if you don't know who Dr. Lillian B. Yeoman's is, then um, uh, she was a medical doctor and uh, was very sick, very ill, got healed simply through faith, faith in God, faith in the Word of God. And um, Dad Hagen, even before he had written any books, he carried Lillian B. Yeoman's books with him on the road. He said he carried uh, Lillian B. Yeoman's books, and then he carried Smith Wigglesworth's book, Ever Increasing Faith, and Newsom's book, On Faith. And uh, so I got started on it from uh, Dad Hagen. And so I started reading her little books on faith, and I came across this particular story that's one of my favorite stories. <laughs> and uh, Lillian B. Yeomans calls this story the praise cure. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard this story or not, but it's called the praise cure. And um, she tells a story here, and I'm going to have to read some of it so I'll get it exactly right. Uh, she said there's a missionary to China staying at Miss uh, Carrie Judd Montgomery's Beulah Heights in Oakland, California. She had the most wonderful healing of smallpox while on the field by the application of the praise cure. She fearlessly nursed a sister missionary who had the disease, though she had not been vaccinated. She was standing on the promise that no plague should come nigh her dwelling. Then a very bad case of confluent smallpox came on her she didn't know what to do, so she asked the Lord. And the Lord told her to sing and praise him for his faithfulness to his word. They isolated her, quarantined, they isolated her, uh, contagious, and they, they told her to lay down and be quiet. But she said if she didn't praise God, the very stones would cry out. So she sang and sang and praised and praised. And the doctor said he feared for her life that the case was serious, awful complications threatened, but she praised and praised and sang and sang. He said she was evidently delirious, but that he had so little help he could not restrain her. So she sang and sang and praised and praised, and they told her that if by chance she recovered, she would be disfigured for life. And she sang and praised louder than ever. They asked, why do you praise so much? She answered. She said, because I have so many pox on me. And I'm praising God for his faithfulness for each one separately. <laughs> so it said, the Lord had shown her a vision of two baskets. One was containing her praising and that basket was half full. The other basket in which was her testing, or you could say uh, the smallpox or her problem, the other basket, uh, she said, was it was full. So the Lord told her that the praise basket must be filled so that it would outbalance the testing basket. <laughs> and it says, um, so she kept at it. He told her, you got to praise the, fill the praise basket. So outbalance the other testing or the problem basket. So it says her songs and shouts 
were so spirit-filled that they were contagious. And the Christian nurses couldn't resist joining in, so they kept the place ringing. At last, the Lord showed her that the praise basket was now full and overflowing. And when the praise basket, when it sank, then the testing basket lifted into the air, and in a moment as it seemed, the eruption and all attendant symptoms vanished, leaving no trace in the way of so much as a single scar. All right, all right, all right. Now listen, y'all got the picture here. In other words, she was standing on the promise that she would not get the smallpox, and then it broke out. And um, sometimes you're believing God for something, and it looks like what's happening is just the opposite of what you're believing for. All right, let's try that again. How many of you ever been believing God for something, and what's happening almost looks the opposite of what you're believing for? So she said, Lord, what am I supposed to do about this? And the Lord said, I want you to praise me for my faithfulness to my word. I want you to praise me for my faithfulness to my word. So it says, she just started singing and praising. The doctors told her to shut up and be quiet. She kept on singing and praising, singing and praising. And so the other nurses that were Christians joined in and were singing and praising. And so she got louder and louder until the Lord showed her the basket, the praise basket got filled. And when the praise basket got filled, then it sunk and it lifted off from her all the symptoms of the smallpox. Listen, and it said, and almost it seemed like in a moment that the eruption, the smallpox and all symptoms vanished, leaving no trace in the way of so much as a single scar. I'm going to believe some things that you're facing right now can vanish and leave no trace that it was ever even there. So uh, Lillian B. Yeomans called this the praise cure. And so she says, here's what happened. She said, the praise cure works every time. It is not unpleasant. It is delightful. Matter of fact, it's not even expensive. Let's try it. It's not expensive. Come on, you don't have to race the stores and try to get stuff out of there. Said, actually, the cost of it was met by Jesus through his blood, and the praise cure is available every moment to every one of us. <laughs> then she said, so are you ready to take your medicine? <laughs> In other words, are you ready to take the cure? So then she quotes from 1 Peter 1 8, and she says, Here's how you begin, 1 Peter 1 8. Yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. So here's what Lillian B. Yeoman said. She said, Just believe what God says that Jesus has done for you, body, soul, and spirit. Think about it, talk about it, sing about it, shout about it, and the praise cure has begun. Let's try that one more time. How many of y'all know 1 Peter 1, 8? Yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. So she said the praise cure works every time. And it doesn't just work in one area. It'll work in every area of your life, spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. In other words, you, somebody said, what are you doing? You say, excuse me, I'm, I'm on medication right now. I'm taking my medicine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it said, if you'll sing about it, shout about it, the praise cure has already begun when you begin to fill up that praise basket. I want to ask you how your praise basket is doing today. I don't know how big your problem basket is, but if you fill up your praise basket, it'll lift everything off of you. Come on, so you need to walk around your house and just start praising God. Thank him for his faithfulness to his word. Come on, instead of looking at circumstances, start praising him for his faithfulness to his word. 
You say, is worried about what? About your spirit, your soul, your mind, your body, about the blood of Jesus, about the power of the stripes of Jesus, and just start praising God for his faithfulness to his word. And watch your problem not only lift off of you, and the devil may say that problem's going to be, it's going to be there forever. Oh, but no, it'll disappear without a trace, not a single scar, no, no evidence left that you ever had that problem because of the power of the Word of God, the power of faith in God, faith in the blood of Jesus. So you begin to take the praise cure. Come on, it'll heal your mind, your soul, your body, your family, your marriage, every situation when you have faith in God. Take your medicine right now. Just start saying, praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your faithfulness to your word. Praise God. I don't care how it looks right now. I dare you to just start praising God, thanking God, lifting your voice. Sing about it. Shout about it. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and shout about it right now. I said shout about it right now. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Woo. Praise God. I said you got to fill the basket up. I said you got to fill the basket up. Come on, you got to fill the basket up. Some people do two or three praises and they go, that ought to be enough. No, she was going day and night. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout about it. Sing about it. Rejoice about it. Rejoice over the word. Come on, by Jesus' stripe, we are healed. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus has purchased our eternal redemption and by his blood, woo, he purchased our freedom. Go ahead and praise God a while. Come on, right where you're at, start praising God a while. Just lift your voice. I said, lift your voice. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Go ahead and laugh for a minute and say, ha, ha, ha. You can sit down for a minute. Praise the Lord. Now the basket ain't full yet. I'm just giving you a little break. Pick it back up. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You cannot just sit there with your mouth shut and expect the praise cure to work for you. You're going to have to open your mouth. Come on, you're going to have to open your mouth. I said you're going to have to open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Here's a little quote I got from, uh, from Martin Luther. And he said this, I often laugh at Satan and there's nothing that makes him so angry as when I attack him to his face. And I tell him that through God, I am more than a match for him. Just practice a little laugh. You'll say, ha, ha, ha. Amen. That's a laugh of faith. There is a laugh of faith. And you begin to praise God. Give him thanks. Not a whiny thanks. Come on, a loud, bold, confident thanks to God. Yet believing you rejoice. Some people say, well, I'm just believing right now. No, yet believing you rejoice. People say, well, I'm believing right now. Yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable. And he said, that joy is a container for the glory of God. And yet to go from believing to receiving, receiving the outcome of your faith while you're praising and thanking God in the middle of it. Amen. Ha ha. You know the story about Dad Hagen, how that uh, even after he had been healed, the symptoms all came back on him. 
when the symptoms came back on him, he said, <clears throat> serious in his heart, his chest, and he said, complications on the inside. He said, I knew it was very serious. So he said, uh, before I went to bed, he said, I just decided to start laughing. He said, I just laughed. He said, I didn't feel like it. I didn't have any emotion to it. He said, uh, there wasn't nothing exciting happening. He said, I actually had to force myself to laugh. I see some of you might need that instruction. <laughs> he said, I had to force myself to laugh. So he said, um, he said I just uh, laid there in the bed and just went, ha, 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 ha. He said, and while I was laughing, the thought came to my mind. He said, I knew it was the devil. And the devil said, this time, you're not going to get your healing. He said, that's why I'm laughing. I don't have to get it. Jesus got it for me 2,000 years ago. So it's mine. I have it now. And then he continued laughing. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, you know, the devil doesn't always give up so easy. He said, he came back again and said, what are you laughing about? This time you're not going to get your healing. He said, that's why I'm laughing. I don't have to get it. Jesus got it for me 2,000 years ago. And so he just kept on laughing. Ha, ha, ha. It's mine. I have it now. That means the fight of faith is you're never fighting for victory. You're always fighting from victory. You take your place in Christ, in everything Christ has done for you, and from that place of victory, that means you're never the challenger, you're always the champion. So he just went to laughing. Uh, he said, he said, I laughed, forced myself to laugh for 45 minutes. Now, if I could just get some of y'all to laugh for four or five minutes, it would be a miracle. But we're talking about a laugh of faith. He said, so I just laughed for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Ha, 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 ha. Several times the enemy, the devil, came back and said, you're not going to get it. He said, that's why I'm laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Now listen, did you know faith works the same in every area of life? Let's try that. I said, did you know faith works the same in every area of life, not just healing, but every other area of victory, every other area of provision and blessing in your life? Ha, ha, ha. So he said, I just laughed and laughed. He said, and when I woke up, he said, every symptom was totally gone and it never came back. He said, you know, the devil don't like to be laughed at. Well, let's try that again. The devil don't like to be laughed at. I don't know what's facing you and what you're struggling with right now, but I dare you just to go ahead and laugh a little bit and say, ha, ha, ha. Say, Mr. Devil, that ain't going to work on me. I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. That ain't going to work on me and my house and my body and my family or my finances. I'm going to go ahead and laugh. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to give glory to God. I'm going to give him thanks. I'm going to thank him in the morning, thank him all day long. I'm going to rejoice in his goodness, rejoice in his mercy. I'm going to go ahead and rejoice. I'm going to go ahead and laugh. The way we said is, how would you act if you already had the thing you've been believing for? I mean, just go ahead and praise God. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Now, you know, C.S. Lewis, great writer, said something that I think I could never say it better than how he said it. He said, joy is the serious business of heaven. Or let's just say it this way, joy is serious business. So when you're facing this challenge, <laughs> people say, you need to take this serious. You just go ahead and laugh and say, I'm taking this about as serious as I possibly can right now. I'm going to laugh and praise God. Matter of fact, I'm taking my medicine right now. I'm taking the praise cure right now, and I'm going to have to praise a while till I get the basket filled up. Praise God. Praise God. 
Some of y'all, your praise basket hadn't been filled up in years. I'm telling you, if you ever fill up your praise basket, all kinds of stuff will lift right off of you, and the goodness of God will be in manifestation. Go ahead and praise him right now. Praise the Lord. Come on, right where you're at. Praise him right now. Praise him right now. And lift your voice and praise him right now. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, lift your voice. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise God for his faithfulness to his word. Praise God for his faithfulness to his word. Woo! Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. How many of you know 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 22? When they're faced with all kinds of armies, one of my favorite verses says, and when they began to sing and to praise. Come on, God said, you don't even need to fight in this battle. God said, I'll fight this battle for you. I'm taking care of it for you. All you need to do is do your part when they begin to sing and to praise. In other words, they weren't even finished singing in praises, but when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against their enemies, uh, and the enemies started attacking each other, and then they left all their wealth. Come on, they left, and they, they had three days, it says, gathering the spoil. How many like to go ahead and gather the spoil the next three days or the next three weeks or the next three months? When they began to sing and to praise, the Lord said, I'll take care of this for you while you're praising. Praise God. Glory to God. While you're singing and praising. Let's say it this way. While you're praising here, God is taking care of things for you back at your house. Ha, ha, ha. Come on. While you're praising here. Something is happening in your future while you're praising here. While you're praising here. Come on, right where you're at. Just lift up your voice and give glory to God. When they begin, the Lord. Woo! How many believe the Lord can fight your battle for you? How many believe in the United States of America when the church begins to praise God, when we lift up our voice? Praise the Lord. Ha ha. Practice laughing for a minute. Look at somebody and say, excuse me, I need to work on my praise basket for a minute here. I need to <laughs> fill it back up. I've got, a, I've got a pastor friend that every time I call him, he answers the phone like this. Praise God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. How you doing, Mark? <laughs> every time. <laughs> praise God, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah. How you doing, Mark? I said, what are you doing? He said, I just like to keep praising all day long. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Now, my daddy said my mama was the most uninhibited praiser that he had ever met. What's that mean? That basically means she didn't care what nobody thought about her. Just caring what people think about you can keep you from receiving from God. Come on, they, they told her, this lady here in, in Little Miyoma's story, they told her to be quiet. Now, how many like to praise until somebody tells you to be quiet? Now, if she would have listened to them, she would have missed receiving her healing. In other words, it was already paid for by Jesus, but it was her faith and her praise that got the manifestation for her. So my mama... Man, she started praising God. I don't know how to say that, but just you didn't even have to have any fancy music going on. You didn't have to have any, anybody else. She's just, she, well, I call her the first responder. That means no matter what's happening, she start praising God. Even when other people thought nothing was happening, my mama would say, the power of God's here. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. And she just start praising God. Matter of fact, did you know the coronavirus is called the coronavirus because that virus has a crown on it? 
Did you know that Jesus has already dethroned that crown? And so he, Jesus is Lord. He's the king. You say the coronavirus ain't reigning around here. Jesus is Lord around here. I'm going to magnify the Lord. I'm going to lift up my voice and praise the Lord. Jesus is the healer. He's Lord. Coronavirus ain't ruling around here. Jesus is Lord. You are watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Are you struggling to overcome obstacles that hinder you from receiving your healing? Are you tired from going from doctor to doctor, taking all kinds of medicine and not getting results? We have good news for you. God's Healing Word book by Pastor Trina Hankins is a practical guide to receiving divine healing. This book is a perfect prescription for anyone struggling with sickness, disease, even mental or emotional challenges. The practical instruction in this book is not only the product of diligent study, but is also the proven divine medicine that saved Pastor Trina's life when she had an inoperable brain tumor. You also get the three CD set, The Praise Cure. Mark teaches how praising God doesn't cost a thing, is very delightful, and it works all the time. Your gift of any amount will help Pastor Mark and Trina Hankins train pastors around the world. Call right now, 318-767-2001, or visit markhankins.org. Order today and start living in God's best, divine health. You know, one of the greatest days of your life is when you find out that healing is for you. It is the will of God. And I think a lot of people don't receive their healing because they don't know that it belongs to them. They don't know that it is the will of God for them to be healed, and they don't realize that the price has already been paid. So today, if that is you, and you need your healing, and you're struggling in your body, then the Word says that you are the healed of the Lord. He sent His Word to heal you and to deliver you. He does not want you to struggle in your body. He doesn't want you to be sick. Disease is not of the Lord. Sickness is not of the Lord. So today, if that is you and you need help and you need some ammunition and something to build your faith, I encourage you to get my mom's book, God's Healing Word. This is her personal testimony of how she was healed of an in operable brain tumor. She was miraculously healed. But not only that, how she walked out her healing and how she kept her healing. And so if that is you today, if you are looking for something to help you in your faith, to grow your faith in the area of healing, I encourage you to get this book. Because a lot of times when we hear a testimony of what God has done for someone else, and we know that what God has done for someone else, He will also do for you and me, then that encourages and strengthens our faith to say, okay, if he did it for them, he will do it for me. So her testimony will be so empowering and so encouraging, but not only that, she also has some great ammunition in the back with confessions and scriptures to pray over yourself, over your body, confessions to say over yourself, and it will really, really help you. So if you need that book today, the information is on the screen. You can call the number or go to the website. I encourage you to do that today. Again, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for watching.